FDI equity inflow in India has been on a decline for the last couple of years. From April to December in FY22, the total FDI equity inflow was about $43 billion. In the same period in FY23, it fell to $37 billion. This is a decrease of almost 15% year-on-year. The fall was prominent in three sectors, automobiles, computer software and hardware, and infrastructure construction. The combined FDI equity inflow of these three sectors in April to December in FY22 was $17.73 billion. For the same period in FY23, it reduced to $10.56 billion. This is a 40% drop. The computer software and hardware sector saw a drop of 21.3% from $10.25 billion to $8.07 billion. So, what are the reasons behind the drop in FDI in this sector? What tends to happen with FDI is that it tends to be, at least especially for us as a country, it tends to be quite lumpy in that uh, you have a few large cases that tend to dominate uh, the broader FDI numbers. My sense is that the number of cases is probably about the same, but there are a few lumpy cases that are missing this year. Computer software and hardware, uh, you know, hardware has just never been, unfortunately, that popular as an FDI sector uh, for, for, for India. And I think with the PLI scheme, hopefully we'll see some of that start to change. The automobile sector has perhaps seen the largest drop in equity FDI. The fall is from almost $6 billion to $1.27 billion. This is a drop of nearly 80%. So what are the reasons? automobile sector of India is one sector fairly integrated with the global supply chain and uh, some amount of uh, you know car produced in India are also exported outside now uh, with the global uncertainty and uh, you know its impact particularly on the advanced economy is that uh, although we have not seen uh, much slowdown in the growth so far as US is concerned but certainly we are witnessing or going to witness a fair amount of slowdown in the European economies. And these two are uh, one of the largest uh, destination for Indian auto component manufacturers. And maybe that is uh, one of the reason why, uh, you know, the FDI inflow into the auto sector uh, has also been impacted. Although equity FDI inflow has fallen in automobile and computer software and hardware sectors, their share in the total FDI equity has remained the same. From April to December in FY22, the combined share of the two sectors in equity FDI inflow was 20%. The share has remained the same for the same period in FY23. What does the coming financial year hold for the two crucial sectors of the Indian economy? Will there be any increase in FDI inflows? The scenario in fiscal year 24 will be slightly better than uh, the FDI inflow uh, for the fiscal year 23. Our estimate is that uh, the net FDI uh, inflow into India would be somewhere in the vicinity of 64 to $65 billion. Although FDI flow into India has declined, the situation may change in the days to come. Several multinational companies are looking for options beyond China and India has been trying to woo them. Foxconn, which is setting up manufacturing facilities in Karnataka, is one such example. Manufacturing has not been India's strong suit, but with the help of policies such as PLI, along with cheap and accessible labour, India may be able to turn the story around. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.